Hi guys, it's Jill Blanchett. It's time for Finally Friday video. It's that time of the week and I am glad it's the end of the week and I'm glad to be here to show you guys a baby swipe technique. Um, I'm using baby wipes but we're gonna swipe across the paper uh, with the ink for what we're calling a swipe technique. I'll show you another baby wipe technique um, another week where you um, you don't have to get your hands so inky. If you have rubber gloves, this is a good technique to use some rubber gloves or, um, you know, I've been playing around with it for quite a while tonight, so uh, the ink is getting quite heavy on my hand. So I'll get you guys started. So hang on one second and I'll put this all together and off we go. Thanks for watching. So today I'm going to show you an oldie but goodie technique called, uh, I guess, baby wipe. This is this particular one is a, got swiping. There's a couple different techniques for using baby wipes. And this one we're swiping across the paper. You can see I got um, several different designs I was trying. Um, they're drying. This is the glossy paper. And they're drying a little bit lighter than um, how dark I started them out. This one was the darkest one that I was playing with. And then as you could see, um, as my ink was kind of running out a little bit, it was getting lighter and drying lighter. Kind of like that color. That's pretty neat. But I just want to show you guys. Um, here's the one that I really liked that I did. This I'll show you this one. This is kind of an ombre look, but um, all the, all the uh, technique way of doing it will be the same. Okay, so you want to just have some basic baby wipes to use. Um, there's, You can Google it. There's a gajillion and one ways to do it. Some people just fold the baby wipe. Some people cut them up. Um, some people uh, will take like um, binder clips and clip them so that you've got um, something more than your hands to hold on to the baby wipe with. Um, they'll like use a binder clip to either um, hold the baby wipe or clip it onto something um, that's a straight edge. Like uh, you could clip it onto like this, and then you can you could drag this across your paper and get a more even coverage. Um, lady said she used several baby wipes and layered them and then put them with a plate like this from her big shot and drug them so I'll try that in a second um, I don't have any binder clips handy so I might have to try and hold on to it and see what kind of uh, mess I can make <laughs> so I have some regular white paper here um, heavyweight cardstock and I'm going to do my first one in a Halloween-y kind of theme so I'm gonna get out a baby wipe and what I am gonna do just for this first one is I'm gonna fold it up into uh, maybe I'll fold it kind of tight like this oops it's off the screen I'll fold it kind of tight like this and then I'll see if that'll help me hold on to it. Maybe I'm going to cut it in half so I can hold it a little bit better. So then what you want to do is you need the re-inkers. So I'm going to, again, try to make a little Halloween-y one. So I got some gorgeous grape. And then you're just going to put a couple drops onto your baby wipe of the colors that you want to use. Like so. I'll put some Mango Melody next. Now you can space out the colors. You can put them really close together. I'm going to space them out a little bit so I got room to kind of rub around on my paper. Um, you can maybe swipe up and down a couple times. We'll see how it turns out. I got some Granny Apple Green. Put a couple drops on there. And what other color do I have here? Oh, I got some pumpkin pie. We'll put that down. Probably got a little too many colors, but we'll see. We'll give it a shot, see what we get. 
Then you're just going to take it and you're going to rub it on your paper whichever direction you want your lines to go. I'm going to go from top to bottom. And see this is where the uh, piece with the rough edge would come in handy. So let's, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to go back up to the top, see if I can put a little more pressure on all my colors. Kind of like so. And then you can just keep going back over. We want to get a little more green in there. Just kind of keep going back over where you want to get your your color. I got a little, I didn't get very much of the orangey color in there. Uh, this was my mango and my green, so I'm going to go back up to the mango and green and kind of push down again. Purple, I didn't get off the edge, so let's start. Now I'm making a mess of it, so you get the idea there. You can cut it down, you can cover it up. I'll flip it over, see what I can get on this. Oh, my colors are... So you're getting the idea. I'm thinking that the girl with the idea of the cutting plate has got a pretty good gig going on there to help with the um, pressure. So there, there you have it. That's the idea of this baby wipe swipe technique. Uh, I got another piece of just the regular white cardstock. Let's see what we get if we use the... I'm trying to see if I got something here that's got a smaller straight edge on it than this. So let's fold it up a few times. All right, my cutting plate's too big, so I'm going to use my bone folder. Let's see what we get. Uh, so I, f I took one baby wipe and I folded it into a bunch of, bunch of pieces. I better go about up here where the uh away from the point of the bone folder. I'll put down all my colors again. Now you see I got some space between them this time. So that should allow me to um swipe around on the paper. I'm going to go up and down this time. <laughs> or not. My purple's not on the straight edge. And then this will, um, having a little bit of space between them will allow me to move it over a smidge and kind of blend the colors. That's my thought anyway. Blend the colors together. Now I will have to like cut this off because I didn't I didn't go all the way to the edge, but that didn't work too bad. So that's cut that down. Use it like that. That worked out pretty cool. I like that one a lot. Very bright. And like I said, leaving a little bit of space between them allowed me to um, move up and down a little bit as I swiped it to get um, blend the colors better. Now this one I'm going to show you my little ombre looking uh, technique. So I got my baby wipe, half of a one, and I'm going to fold it up. Uh, we're going to want to have a few, like I need one kind of fold for each color, so I'll start like this. So I'm going to start with my darkest color, which I got Poppy Parade, and I'm going to put a few drops of ink on it. If 
you had rubber gloves, it would be a good good point, uh, good time to wear them too. And then I'm just going to swipe it down a little ways on the paper, not all the way. And I do have the glossy, if I did not say that, I have the glossy cardstock there. So now I'm going to find another spot to um, fold it, and I've got the Calypso Coral. And I'll put a little bit on there. Don't need a whole lot. And then I'm going to come up into the Poppy Parade some and try and blend those two. And then I need some more. It's not coming out very dark. I want it a little bit darker than that. Could be the glossy paper. There we go. I want it darker like that. And then I'm going to fold it up again. And I've got some um, Blushing Bride. This one I might need a bunch too. And I'm just going to come in with the Blushing Bride. Which is very light, so it's not going to come out. There we go. And I'm going to come up into that other color with the Blushing Bride. And then I'm just going to kind of go up through all of them and swipe a little bit. You can even go back to your other colors if you want to try and bring in the deeper tones again. I'll bring that down a little bit. Come back with my Blushing Bride. and It's kind of... Um, just wiping it off too at this point, but I want that. I want a little bit more of a ombre down into this pink. I don't want so much of the blushing bride to show. So there, you guys get the idea. I hope. Maybe I'll. Go up into there a little bit. I just love that poppy parade on here. So there we go. That's a little bit of an ombre look. And then you can go and finish your card with a solid image of some sort. Or um, I'm going to cut out a piece and pop it up on there. So I will see if I can get a card finished. And I will show it to you at the end of the video. Bye guys. Thanks for watching. Hey, I got them stamped. And I wanted to give you quick look at what I came up with. This was the Halloween paper and I actually used both of the papers. I did two different um, pages and so I used the skinnier striped and I went one way and I used the wider strip and went the other way. Um, this cat is from um, the paper pumpkin for September and then I used the um, ombre page. Oops, it's got glare on it. I used the ombre page and made that card. And as you can see, they look totally different once you um, turn them into something. So thank you guys for watching. Another version of Finally Friday. I will be back again next week. And until then, I hope you have a great weekend. Enjoy next week. And I will see you right back here. Thanks, guys.